Hi, my name is Mark and I teach economics. In this video, we're going to look at how to calculate the opportunity cost. Okay, maybe you know the word opportunity cost, you, you know how to define it, but usually on the exam or a quiz, they're going to have a calculation problem. You're going to have to be able to calculate this relatively quickly and easily. And I want to show you a, a simple trick, a three-step process on how to do this. So we're going to calculate this based on a PPC or PPF. Po uh, production possibility frontier. So in this example, we have the island of Lepandia. It produces two goods from indigenous berries on the island, blue and red lipstick. So they extract the berries and create a lipstick, let's say a natural lipstick. And this is, this is their economy, these two lipsticks. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, calculate the opportunity cost based on the PPC, production possibility frontier. So my method is three steps. It's a three-step method and you have to use it and you can remember these three steps. First step is to extract the numbers from the graph. Usually there's a graph and they'll have some points on the graph and you have to extract it and put it into a table. Second is to simply calculate the cost, the opportunity cost ratio. It's a ratio between the two goods. And the third step is you have to form a sentence to be able to articulate, you, be able to uh, verbalize what's happening here. And if you can do all the three of those things, take the graph, extract the data, calculate it, and articulate it, you'll be able to do well in the exam. So in this example, again, we have a PPF of blue lipstick versus red lipstick. The maximum they can produce is, let's say, 200 sticks a day of blue lipstick. Red lipstick is a little bit harder. Maybe the berries are rare and they can produce maximum of 80 per day. So you've got a ratio. Let's say on the island, the blueberries are very common, like blueberry. You know, it's like some sort of blueberry cousin of blueberry, bilberry, wild bilberry. And let's say that the red lipstick is derived from some uh, red aronia or cranberry or some other red berry that grows indigenous. And the, the, the cost for red is going to be more because it's, because it's less of it, less supply. So what you do is you, you look at the graph and then you calculate. You extract this data the best you can. My graph didn't have actually points. So I just drew the line. But you can at least use it from the 80 to uh, 200. And you have to read the question because the question is going to ask you how to calculate the opportunity cost of red lipstick. So, so the one that you're calculating it of is on the bottom of the equation. So when you have this table it's going across, the blue is on the top and the red is on the bottom because that's what you're asked to be calculated. And the ratio in this case, it's 2.5. It takes, you're going to have to reduce production of blue lipstick by 2.5 sticks in order to get one stick of red lipstick, if that makes sense. So there we go. There we have it. We have we have the calculation. It's clear. Yeah, you have to be able to just it's simple division. It's no math. It's just division. So the question is, what is the opportunity cost for the production of one stick of red lipstick? The opportunity cost of one stick of red lipstick is 2.5 blue lipsticks. That's the answer. And the explanation is you have to shift your production from one resource to the other. They're going to have to send more people out into the forest into the woods, into the jungle to, to gather these berries. And since the red berries are rarer to find, you're going to have to employ more resources uh, in order to get this production. So you need to give up 2.5 blue lipsticks. And this can be extrapolated out. Let's say you want 10, then it's going to be 25. And I think that answer is pretty clear. So I hope this helped you. And if you go back over it and just look at the calculation, how simple and clear it is, I think you'll benefit during an exam. Again, subscribe to my channel, like it, comment. If you have questions, just comment below, and I can take a look at them, and we can work through that. Thank you very much.